A swimming pool is a great asset for any family and home. You can't beat it, can you? But with a pool comes responsibility. Our little Kiwis are adventurous and they can easily get into trouble. Until we brought in laws around swimming pools, there were a lot more drownings. Most inspections fail because of some really easy things to fix, especially the gate. Most child drownings happen because of defective gates, broken fences, or access underneath the fence. Swimming pool gates have to self-close and they have to self-latch. Gate latches and hinges need regular checks to make sure that they're working properly. Ground movement and general wear and tear can also affect the performance of a gate. A pool gate must self-close and self-latch, so check that the hinge and springs are working properly. They may need replacement, like this one. Most modern hinges have internal springs. These can still stretch, snap or wear. So what we have here is the most commonly used hinge. Now to make the adjustment, it's a Phillips head screwdriver and we just undo the cap as follows. We just unscrew that. Then this cap will just flip off. Then we use a flat head screwdriver. We push down and turn to the left to tighten. We push down and turn to the right to loosen. If you don't feel confident making any of these adjustments, don't hesitate to call in a professional. This is an older style spring. It's important that we make sure it maintains its tension. Wooden gates can look great, but they can also absorb water, making them more prone to expand and contract. Our tip is to use aluminium or glass gates. The gate and the fence need to be a minimum height of 1.2 meters. Watch out for retaining walls and steps, which change the level of the ground. If the latch is set on the outside of the gate, it needs to be set at 1.5 meters. If the latch is set on the inside, it needs to be inaccessible to little ones. This next fix is a real easy one. Keep a clear 1.2 meters around the pool fence to ensure our little Kiwis don't have something to climb upon. These simple checks and fixes can save you a little bother when it comes to inspections. Most importantly, they can save a little one's life. Check out Auckland Council's website or call us on this number. We're keen to help.